Hi, this is uh, the Magic Barn, the president of the uh, Pine Tree Boating Club. Uh, this is his collection here. Um, it's a place that we all come to, but not at night, and uh, hopefully not alone, because you could get lost and the Magic Barn could consume you. This is where Any all the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we've got here a electric shift lower unit, the first one OMC came out with uh, in the mid-60s. It is, uh, it has a electric coil at both ends, one here and one here. It looks like this. It's a coil of wire. And if you look, you can see that the gear spins, but the inner part does not. Okay, and what this electric coil does, when you watch the video, you'll see it. When I shift it, it'll pull this piece tight right here and have them both turn together, as I'm doing right now manually. This electric coil pulls it tight and does it with electricity. So here we go. Uh, we have, uh, I'm going to spin the shaft. We're now in neutral. If you look, the propeller's not turning. Um, and the gears are. And then we'll shift it into forward gear. And if you watch very carefully right there, you'll see the spring tighten up. Okay. And I'm going to turn it in the same direction. There it is. It's now in forward gear. Back in neutral again. And I'll turn it. And then we're going to go into reverse. And if you watch very carefully, you'll see it tighten up on that one. Now the propeller is going in the opposite direction. This lower unit was in place for a few years. Uh, it had a couple of flaws. One of which was the fact that if you lost electric current to it it went into neutral that's where it wanted to that's where it stayed it didn't work uh, so to speak so you couldn't go anywhere you were stuck if you lost battery power secondly it found its ground through the casing and not uh, through the wires so it didn't have a wire ground it had a uh, a base ground in the lower unit which corrosion could affect uh, and it had wires going down to the lower unit and the wires also could get uh, stuff in them uh, excuse me salt water and corrode and not have enough amperage to make these things work a another problem with these was if you got water into this into this unit uh, they'd, they'd corrode on the uh, faces of the gears and on the springs and that's a hardened face and if it got corroded it would wear off and it wouldn't grab and uh, you slip in gear and my understanding also is the uh, oil that they used on this was uh, an APG 80 basically a hydraulic oil that had very low uh, had a, a, a high resistance to slippage or a low resistance to slippage so these springs would grab uh, when they were actuated uh, if you put in today's 90 weight this thing probably would not work as well if at all because it would slip because it's such good lubricant uh, and that's basically how this worked this is uh the first the second unit that they came out with in the late 60s was a hydroelectric which was normally in forward gear so when you ran the engine it was it was stuck if you got stuck out to sea with no electric power it would stay in forward so that had solenoids that activated a hydraulic pump in the back end here which would push it into neutral uh, with one solenoid and the hydraulic pump would push it into reverse with another solenoid uh, the reason for that again probably was because this thing liked to be in neutral but I also understand there was a lawsuit uh, filed against this a Sylvania engineer had a patent on this arrangement uh, that was fairly close and maybe that's why they didn't fix this so that it stayed in forward or whatever but who knows uh, it's a long time ago and there's not a lot of paper trail so that's basically your electric shift lower unit let's see that engage and forward okay, and reverse we'll do again. that again all right forward gear spinning forward
This works with a switch that's in here that uh, puts electricity to one of these two uh, solenoids or coils of wire um, in here. Uh, there's an activator or roller, so to speak, that that uh, pushes a switch one way or the other way. The hydroelectric had a switch that looked exactly the same and it would uh, activate the solenoids here to make it go into neutral and reverse. And this one makes it go into forward and reverse and doesn't have any power in neutral. So that's it and uh, maybe we'll have another tech series on the uh, hydraulic lower unit here in a few months. And thank you very much.